Hey guys, this is Musical Pikmin, and I am finally back from my week-long break. But uh, from now on, I will be uploading on a regular schedule. But uh, right now, I wanted to show you that I did some grinding since the last episode because we are coming up on um, the first town, which, I mean, it has some pretty tough enemies if you don't level up a little bit. But um, as you saw there, I didn't have to kill that enemy because I am at such a high level. So um, I guess we'll just explore a little bit before we do anything, so let's check this. Get a hamburger out of a trash can. <laughs> um, you get a lot of items from trash cans and stuff, so. Uh, here I'm going to take out a little bit of money because I want to be as optimized as possible and make sure that I don't die or anything tragic like that. Uh, I'll just um, upgrade my weapon right now. And then I'll get a cheap bracelet, which will surprisingly give me defense, which doesn't really make any sense, but okay. Um, now, uh, let's just look around a little bit. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure why I walked around this, but, um, <laughs> I was looking for something. Yeah, I'm looking for the treehouse, that's right. You get a free Mr. Baseball cap here, which gives you more defense, which is, for people who haven't really played this game, um, it's, it's really useful to have this item because it lasts you for a while. Plus the one that they were selling at the department store, it was less, or less quality than this one, so, you know, you get one for free that's better, I mean, obviously it's better, so. Now, these people, they are the local gang of the town, the Sharks, which Pokey mentioned a while back. Um, this particular one, it's not too difficult to fight because they miss a lot, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. They also have a chance of dropping a hamburger. <laughs> yes, I would like to start a fight, thank you very much. Now these, they um, can do a lot of damage by like uh, doing like a shredding attack with their skateboard, which, I mean, with the defense stuff that I have on right now, um, it doesn't really do as much damage as it would had I not bought them. A can of fruit juice. Uh, this, this item isn't really that good, so I'm just gonna use it right now. Free up some of my inventory. It's basically like, like a cookie. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna eat the rest of my cookies so I can have enough inventory space for later if I need it. Just wanna fight as many enemies as possible before I fight the next, uh, next big enemy boss thing. Yeah, I'm just looking for enemies at this point. Try to get another level or two before I face anybody. Now, the, um, the Yes Man Jr., uh, he does like a loop attack, which can be pretty devastating. 
if you don't take them out, so I'm, I'm gonna try to take them out first. These enemies can actually be pretty terrifying in like a big group, which um, it gave me some trouble when I first played this game, so um, just a fair warning to anybody who wants to play this game. Try to level up a little bit before you fight these people because they're uh, pretty strong in a group. You never know how many you'll fight at a time, so... Don't want to use too much PSI. Yeah, after after a couple of hits, like these go down pretty easily. <laughs> Just gonna check around to make sure that I don't miss anything. And then this guy just gives you sort of a hint as to like equipping items and stuff. So that you'll have like better defense and stuff. I think the skater punks are the only ones that can call for help out of the three enemies, so be mindful of that. Level six. It wasn't it wasn't a bad level up, but could have been better. I didn't want to go up the stairs again, but okay. <laughs> I'll just heal whenever I get behind these doors. No, I don't want to become a member. You guys are bitches. Sorry to any of the young audience members, but I will probably be swearing a little bit in this in this let's play. I'll try to keep it on a minimum, but you know. Say my name, you're a stranger. You have knives, like, that's not okay. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Yeah, when he brandishes the knife, um, it's his strongest attack, so. It does a lot of damage, especially if you don't have any armor. Which, luckily, I do. machine that's behind the bush. I'm gonna go ahead and heal right now before he does anything, because um, what this does, um, it charges up an attack, and then, like, a charge up attack for an a, tur a turn, and then uh, it attacks the next turn. So you always know when it's going to attack, which is good. Surprisingly, these these two weren't that difficult. Um, I had a lot more trouble in my first run through of this game. And here he's telling us about Giant Step, which is the next place that we need to go to, which is one of our sanctuaries. Alright, I'm just gonna go back and talk to him because once you defeat him, he'll uh, give you health and like let you rest and stuff for free, which is nice so you don't have to talk to or go to the hotel and spend money. And right now I'm gonna try looking for the town hall which I thought was over here. Um, 
apparently I don't know this town. <laughs> I'm having navigational issues, it seems. And of course it's right here. <laughs> it's like right in front of the place, so don't make the same mistake I did. And we need to go talk to the mayor in order to get access to the dungeon. <laughs> and made them wet their pants. You forced them to promise to not make any more trouble. Thank you. Well, you know, I mean, if a kid can do it, that's... <laughs> probably weren't that bad, to be honest. Oh, so if I die, <laughs> then it's, like, not your responsibility? Okay. Alright, it's not like you're the mayor of the town or anything. Might want to send, like, some police officers or something to help me, but... No, you don't care. This, I know exactly where it is. Um, just follow the path up here. Well, I guess there's not really a path up here, but... Through the trees. And a magic butterfly. I'll take that. Magic butterflies uh, raise your PSI power for free. So it, they're, they're like scattered everywhere to the shack and lock the door. The house with a giant hole in the wall, that's... might want to fix that. Um. Yeah, I think I might be a little... a little overleveled. Alright, Rowdy Mouse, Rowdy Mice, they get, uh, smash attacks quite often, um, but they don't, they don't do too much, I wouldn't think. I mean, 12, 12 HP is a lot, but, um, it's, it's not unmanageable, I suppose. Level 7. See max HP up by twelve. That's a good level up. I'm just gonna get as much experience as I can right now. Sorry if it's like boring to watch, but No, black antoids are probably my least favorite enemies in this place, as I smash attack it, um, but they're, they come in groups a lot, and it's pretty annoying when you're at a low HP and then they just continually attack you. These were the enemies that I was fighting out here earlier, but since they're fighting in a group, I can't just take them down and automatically. They aren't really that threatening. They have a lot of uh, experience, though. All they can really do for the first couple of moves is uh, just attack you directly, because they can't focus, because they can't use PSI powers. I was thinking that I should heal up right now, but... Uh, two black antoids. I, I probably should have... I, I should have healed. There, yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, this is. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> um. I'll, yeah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> that was really embarrassing. But, um. 
I'll, I'll, I'll try to get back to this in the next part. Um, so I'll continue the dungeon, but if you enjoyed this part, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this Let's Play. Um, thank you for watching, and goodbye.